So you, you mentioned the, the Boston press is tough. How were you received into town? You followed Parcells in New England. So I'll give you an example. Okay. The first day, the, f the first day of camp, my first year, the, the newspaper, the, the, um, the Globe, which one it was, I don't remember which one it was now, uh, has a picture on the front page of a caricature of Coach Parcells and Coach Carroll. Coach Parcells has the, the pearl-handled pistols, the helmet of Patton, and he's looking like, you know, he's ready to eat your, eat your head off, you know. And there's Pete with the surfboard, sandals, shorts, and a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a chance, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so it was, it was uh, let me tell you one other little quick story about that. In the, in the middle of my third year, you know, I was, there was a lot of hard nights to sleep. You know, I could, just couldn't get it turned the right way, fighting it and competing and trying to figure out a way. And I, and I woke up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night and uh, couldn't go back to sleep and flicked on the television. And on the TV was the, 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 new, the remake of the Babe Ruth story. And if, you know, John, I think it's John Gooden, big guy? Goodman. Goodman? Yep. Yeah, okay, okay. John Goodman was, uh, is playing Babe Ruth. And the, I flick it on, and the scene is Babe Ruth is back at Fenway Park as a Yankee, and he's in the bullpen warming up or something, and the fans are just chewing him out. They're calling him every name in the book, just vile and kids, and it was just ugly, you know? And I looked and I thought, wow, they're yelling at Babe Ruth the same way they yell at me when I come off the field. <laughs> That's the same guys, you know, it felt exactly the same. And, and it hit me that the New England area is just so competitive and they want to win so bad that even with all the, the you know, the, the vile way that they come about it, it's because they want to win so bad. And it turned me. And I never, from that instant, I never felt the same again about it, you know. And, and, and I, and I, hell, I wanted to win just as bad as they did. And we were in concert in that, and I wasn't. I, from that point on, it didn't, it didn't affect me anymore that they were so difficult on our fan, uh, on our coaches and our players and stuff like that. And, and I understood it, you know. So, uh, and I respect it. For, I respect them for that. You know, it was just a tremendous challenge.